So it's time to finally assemble these parts here. Um, multiple layers. Uh, the reason I hadn't been able to send them is because I was actually waiting on an order of magnets and they came in yesterday. So let's get going. You can see I've already removed the masking off of some of these, um, but some of them I haven't, so I'm going to go ahead and get that done. And then we will start the process of assembly. Plastic razor blade, must have. See how flexible this stuff is as I'm pulling it off. As far as the actual acrylic, that's why I'm putting this into a dual layer setup with a backer on the back of this one. Boom. All right, there's one done. This is the backer, so this will sit on top of there like that. And then the flexibility of it, you know, it's still a little bit flexible, but it's not flimsy at that point. So we'll set this aside. one the magnet layer you notice that this stuff is super thin compared to the uh, normal three mil stuff I'm using but that's allowing me to um, find a piece of three mil here's a scrap piece of three mil that allows me to layer and not really increase the thickness of the grill so there's a three mil and there's the 1.5 some people call this eighth and the sixteenth but measured metrically, this is, in metric, this is three mil, 1.5 mil. That one, and one final one. This is the quarter inch or six mil. This is one of two layers that will form the ring the grill sits down into already done the the other layer of this is eighth or three millimeter and I've already pulled the masking off of that one there's all my masking stick that down in the trash so I always like to start with the base the base consists of that part there. These are actually going to sit in a vehicle this way on the pillar, up and down. Um, you can tell that this is for Focal. Uh, this is uh, the M Series Utopia, so three and a half, and the M Series Tweeter. And it starts with this. This is the base layer. These holes are already tapped. I did that yesterday when I pulled them off the machine. The next layer above that is going to be this layer that is going to allow it to recess the speakers a little bit because they're kind of thick speakers. Um, the next layer is also a recess, but it's also the magnet layer. So we do that. That'll sit on there like that. And the layer above that is our 0 0.75, 0 0.03 inch layer that will as you can see, there's no hole for the magnet there. So the magnets are in, this sits on top, and then you have a nice smooth surface. Once it's painted, you don't even see the magnets. Then in this particular scenario, we wanna cover up the mounting screws. So when you look through the grill, or you even pull the grill off, we don't wanna see the mounting screws, right? We just wanna kinda of see the, the speaker itself. So this will be a totally separate layer and this starts out with a thin piece that's cut the exact same size as the grill, the outside dimension of the grill, um, but the holes are exactly like this one, no magnets. Then there's the magnet layer, boom, like that. And then there's this layer, and if you can tell, 
this layer is actually cut to the inner side here, so it only shows and reveals the speaker. Um, the Focal M-Series tweeters are a little different because they're kind of oblong, whatever, um, but the center of the speaker or the grill that's over the tweeter will be, seat will be seated right in here. So that'll be glued up as a separate layer with magnets in it. And after that, then we'll move on to the grill. The grill is a base layer of thin, 0.75, followed by the magnet layer, followed by the reinforcement layer, which also adds a little bit of a nice design. You can actually see the, the design of the ribs that are on this layer run through there but then I've also added a single cross brace here that runs parallel to these slats. And then I went ahead and did a circular pattern just to stabilize everything so that once this is all glued up, it'll be nice and nice and secure. Um, and then of course, after that's done, I always do this part last, not sure why. Um, but then we have our two, a piece of six mil and a piece of three mil that are our rings that basically would just encase the grill and everything when it's done. So we have one piece that'll go down there like that. And that's approximately the same thickness as this, less the 0.75 on each side. So it's 1.5 bigger. But if we sit this in there, we can see that it protrudes just a little bit. So we add this piece of six mil on top, just like that. And then by the time you put the grill, assembly on there, which is made up of 1.5, 1.5, and 1.5, so 4.5 at that point, plus the uh, 0.75, so you're at 5.25, and we drop this on top of there, and we are just proud by probably the 0.75 um, above the ring. And the nice thing about that is because nine times out of 10, you're wrapping this. Um, pull this grill back out of here. And pull the middle layer out or the beauty layer out. So nine times out of 10, you are molding this in. So you're gonna have material coming to the edge. You're gonna scuff this edge, pull this back to the pillar in this case. Glass it, fill it, whatever your process is. Um, sand it smooth. So you've got material laying up on top of this now. So that's added just a little bit of material. And then you're going to typically wrap it. And because you're going to wrap it with the material anywhere from, you know, suede to vinyl to leather, um, it's going to add a little bit of height on this ring. And then at that point, your grill, it's going to sit flush. Um, or maybe even just a little bit below flush, which, which will give it a nice look. Um, and you can do it so it sits a little bit proud. You just got to let me know. Um, at that point, I would like eliminate the three millimeter, three millimeter layer and just do the six. And then your grill would actually sit a little bit proud. Um, it's all personal preference and however you want to do it. So let's get the glue up started. And of course, this process will be sped up because <clears throat> I've done this multiple times. There's other videos that I've done it a little bit slower. Um, and explains the steps along the way, but pretty much you can just, you can follow along just with the, the video and see how it goes together. <clears throat> 